done by the process of threshing. So you see here the uh, laborer is threshing the uh, wheat uh, from, to separate it from the chaff. Now separation may be done by beating it on the floor like this or allowing the grain and chaff mixture from the height. So let me show you. These are some uh, grains of rice which are separated from their stalk. Now you can see these differ from the rice as they are covered with the coverings. This is called chaff. If you can see, there is the rice grain coming out from the chaff. See, this is the chaff and inside there is the rice grain. So, farmers, uh, what they do? They use different techniques to separate this chaff and the rice grain. Clearly, see, this is the chaff and this is the grain. So, by the process of winnowing, the lighter chaff separates and from the heavier grain. Okay. So, this process is done because chaff being lighter is blown by, away by the wind and gets separated from the grains of the rice. This, uh, the basic... Uh, uh, principle behind is the difference of weight between the grain and the chaff. The method which we use for separating the solid impurities from a solid solid mixture is using hand. Hand picking can only be employed if the impurities are of different in shape, color, size, etc. We use this process for small scale separation at home. See, I have taken a mixture of different things. All of them, the peanuts, the lentils, the rice, the uh, club, all of them differ in the shape, size, colors and we can see visually the difference. If we prepare a mixture of these, then we can use the method of hand picking for separating this mixture nicely. So first we are going to separate the peanuts, then the cloves because the cloves are uh, appearing black. Then we can separate the lentils, the rice and from the rice, uh, we can separate the yellowish the gray rice grains which has still contain the chaff and put it into the different uh, bowls or categorize them differently. In small scale in our homes we use this method for separating the mixture of rice or pulse, uh, pulses from the unwanted pebbles or the parts of the plant for cleaning them before cooking. See, I have taken a mixture of... The method which we use for separating different solid constituents of a mixture is sieving. In this, the mixed constituents are of different size. The sieve size depends on the size of the particles to be separated. Here I am using a sieve, a very small sieve for separating the mixture of dal or the pulses from the wheat floor. You can see the fine particles of the wheat floor are separating in the bottom of the container and the bigger particles of dal is on the upper side of the sea. Sieving is commonly used for separating wheat husk from floors from floor and 
we see this uh, method also in the construction site where the workers use a sieve to separate stones from the sand a method which we use for separating different solid constituents of a mixture is sieving in this the mixed constituents are of different size the sieve size depends on the size of the particles to be separated here i am using a sieve a very small sieve for separating the mixture of dal or the pulses from the wheat flour the next method is magnetic separation so if you can see this is a paper pin and i have a magnet in my hand so the paper pin since it is magnetic means made up with the materials which are attracted to magnet are sticking with the magnet so what happens when there is a mixture like this one means where iron particles are mixed with sulfur then the easiest way to separate this is by using a magnet now magnet attracts as you can see the iron particles and as a result the sulfur is left behind so this kind of separation is used when one of the components is magnetic when both are magnetic okay like this one see then we cannot use a magnetic separation as both will be attracted so the criteria is one of the substances should be magnetic the next is sublimation uh, you know naphthalene widely used uh, as a mothball in your home is a sublimating substance that means it directly changes into vapor before uh, or after uh, yeah from solid so such kind of materials can be separated from the other by using sublimation method so if you will heat it then the naphthalene will directly change into gaseous form and as a result the common salt will be left behind